Today, we're going to be working on hand-eye coordination, and we're going to learn how to juggle with plastic bags. So the first thing I need you to do is get up and go find two plastic bags. I like the ones that you get from the grocery store, kind of ones that you put your fruit and vegetable in. They're the easiest ones, and, they're, and they're, you can get them at the grocery store. You can just pull off a couple of them, or you can use other bags. But I do prefer these because they fly easier and they float quieter. So I'm going to give you a few minutes to go get those bags, and we'll just wait until you come back. And don't forget, make sure you have your water with you. Because remember, we don't drink when we're thirsty. We drink so we don't get thirsty. So I'm going to grab my water. Okay. So the first thing we need to talk about is how do we stand when we juggle? I'm going to show you how you stand. Okay, your feet are shoulder width apart. So you want to have a good solid stance when you're juggling. So you get your feet a solid shoulder width apart. Next, the most important part is the motion of how we toss a plastic bag or a scarf. If you have a scarf, you can use scarf when we juggle. You want to have a motion, a round motion when you toss something. So a round motion looks like that. Looks like that. Same thing. Like that. We're going to use one bag. We only need one bag because we're going to practice with one bag first. So again, the motion is round and it passes your belly button. So when you do that, it passes your belly button and it goes up. So again, round motion passes your belly button and goes up. You notice I'm holding the plastic bag with my thumb and my other finger. So you want to hold it with your thumb and other finger kind of like that. You don't want to grab it like this, thumb and like this. Again, the motion is down past your belly button and up in a round motion. I'm holding it in my favorite hand to start, which is called my dominant hand. So you want to start holding it in your favorite or dominant hand. So again, it's in round motion. Knuckles up. Your knuckles need to be up. And when you release it, you release it above your head. Don't release it here. You want to release it above your head. So if I'm going to release it above my head, I want it to go up, let it go, and you're going to catch it when it comes down. So here we go, round motion, above my head, release it when it comes down. Again, round motion, past my belly button, catch it when the hand is down. Okay, you go ahead and practice a couple of those. Again, round motion. Pass your belly button, release it above your head. Catch it with the same hand, though. I want you to catch it with the same hand. Do not switch hands. Catch it with your dominant, your favorite hand first. So go right ahead. Again, ground motion, pass your belly button above your head, catch it when it comes down with your fingers down. Don't catch it this way, 
Let it travel down and catch it like this. Okay. You want to have the opening of the bag to be at the bottom. So again, ground motion. Let it go. Good. Now we're going to switch to the non-dominant, my least favorite hand. Now I like this hand. It's a great hand, but I use this one more than I use this one. But we need to practice with both sides. So again, we're going to hold it in our least favorite hand, our non-dominant hand, same thing. Okay, round motion, pass your belly button, release it above your head, and catch it while it comes down. Round motion, release, catch it when it comes down. Let's practice that a little bit. Down motion, release by the bit. up high, catch it coming down. Round motion by your belly button, release it up, catch it on the way down. Remember, you're using the same hand you're tossing with. Okay, do not switch hands. I put my hand behind my back so I know I'm going to use this hand. But let's keep practicing. Down motion, up, round motion. motion, cross my body, up, on the way down. Basically, you want to catch it when it's coming down. And this time, we'll have a challenge. We're going to clap two times. So you're going to round motion, toss it up, clap two times, catch it with the same hand you toss with. Do not switch hands. So after I clap, I put it behind my back. So here we go. Let's practice that. This is in my least favorite hand. So I'm going to start with my least favorite hand. Round motion. Catch it with my non-dominant least favorite hand. Let's do that a few times. Round motion. Release it up. Good. I like the way you're using your fingers, not your hand, holding it with your thumb and the other one, round motion, let it go up top, let it come down. Okay. Let's try it with our favorite hand, our dominant hand. So again, I put this behind my back, round motion, I clap two times, catch you with my favorite dominant hand. Let's do a couple of those. Here we go. Let it come down. Make sure your hands are down when you catch. Let's try three claps. A little more challenging. Don't have to go very fast. As long as you let the bag float down, you'll be able to catch it. So again, here's my dominant hand. Round motion. One, two, three, catch. Round motion. One, two, three, catch. You don't have to rush. As long as you release it above your head, let it come down. Catch it that way. Let's do a couple of that. Do that with your dominant. Let's switch to our non-dominant, three claps, one, two, three, make sure you don't switch hands, okay, round motion, round motion, good, let's do a couple of those. I like the way you're doing the round motion, pass your belly button, release it above your head, clapping. I'm going to challenge you. Let's see how many claps you can do. All right? See how many claps you can do before it falls. So I'm going to try it with this guy. Remember, I'm going to catch it with the same hand. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 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 ten. Ooh, look, I got ten. I'm going to try my dominant side. Ready? Try to go. Up. 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. I got fifteen. Ready? Fifteen. 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 Fifteen.